So now that you know how to add items to a list, let's look at how to remove items from a list. So let's make a list. So maybe it'll be a car list and we'll have uh, Toyota. And let's put Toyota in here a couple times. And let's do Ford and Chevy and um, Pontiac. Does Pontiac even exist anymore? I, I don't know if that's a thing. OK, well, um, let's print this car list and run it. Toyota, etc. Toyota is in there twice. So one way that we can remove is by using the remove method. And we can do this as so. And let's say we want to remove Ford. And then we can print the car list again. Notice Ford is not in there anymore. But what if we remove Toyota? Toyota is still in there a second time. So remove will, will delete the first instance of that element, right? So it's looking for the element by its value, finds it, gets rid of it. I'm going to show a really quick way to remove all instances. Um, this, this will come up later when you get to while loops, but let's just throw some uh, logic in here just to be just to be silly so while Toyota in the car list let's car list dot remove Toyota and let's print the car list now to be clear this is not the only way to do this uh, there there's a direct method you could use but we're not going to worry about that at the moment we're doing this essentially to it sort of pre-introduced the idea, an idea of iteration. So as long as this value is in this list, right? We've got this logic here. Then we're going to perform a remove operation, and eventually we won't have to do that anymore. Notice Ford, Chevy, Pontiac. So that worked. Now you can also remove elements by their index. So if we want to remove the third element, then we can just do this. And if I print the car list, we have indeed removed the Chevy. So that's just Dell car list. Dell is going to come back around. This is how you remove key value pairs in a dictionary as well. You'll, you'll see this a few other times. So that's about it for, for now, for removing items. Um, I just wanted to introduce that idea of iteration, because we're going to get deeply into iteration in the next set of lessons.